Hello everyone, I want to share with you a battle that I had against two ranked players, one of them a private, the other one is a colonel. My ally was an unranked player and he quit, he could have netted himself a victory if he would have just kept his ground and well the battle itself it was a it was a catastrophe but if he just stayed a bit more and had more faith <laughs> I'll dive right in I'll show you what I'm talking about little fast forward right at the start I've uh, lost a fighter plane I cost fighter plane And it was a complete disaster on the left flank. I was going left. I've dropped Chayetit and Barkhan units. They have shifted their focus completely on this side and started to make bombing runs and artillery strikes on this area. Completely negating my foothold on this sector. Heavy bomber dropping its payload. Look at this. Kaboom. That wasn't good. The shade it was left with skeleton surviving elements. Complete annihilation on the left flank. I've tried to fool them to think that those were just the starting elements that I've brought to the sector, that there are a lot more on this side, so I've brought my uh, Picud, my CV unit into this sector that didn't help much because they pushed forward and destroyed it so 
So far my ally was doing a very good job. He kept his ground on the right flank in Galt. Look, Emperor, I owe him my victory. Because he bought me time to do He bought me time to reverse the situation. The situation was hopeless and he bought me enough time to try to turn catastrophe into victory. Little move I eat, guys. A bit too late. So I already knew that something. Is I I knew that nothing is gonna go my way because I've suffered catastrophic failure on my left flank. The flank I was entrusted to keep. You got command units with no protection. The map is it's wide open. They can just roll the tanks on us right now. So I've brought a bit of you know armored units and infantry to try to stabilize this area. Garban unit. He was also bringing his reinforcements. So, at this point, I have decided I'm going to call in my artillery because there was nothing better to do. Those uh, forward operating. Ford operating bases were just sitting there, cost us uh, 75 points each, so we might as well use them. Diverting was uh, trying to bring those Barkhan units to circle around his main effort and then I was forced to divert the waypoint because I knew that they might be spotted by those by units that surged onwards to, towards this location He was doing pretty good, but he was suffering losses. Now the entire attention of the enemy has been diverted to the right flank. So right now he's facing the two of them while I was trying to make something out of this catastrophe. And he was starting to suffer, suffering heavy losses to his elements on the right flank of the map. So, 
another recon, another uh, recon unit to support those ground troops over here. And I was already thinking about um, making a little push here to divert the enemy's attention to this part of the map. And the enemy has brought a command unit to Sector Foxtrot and was starting to push forward on the right flank in goal. They had overwhelming superiority in numbers because of my catastrophe at the left flank, Bravo. using all of the points they had uh, they just brought to, pay, to bear their entire points dealing with the resistance in our right point my blazers started to engage units that are trying to push through on the, the left Those artillery units for uh, multiplayer games are quite lethal because in multiplayer games there are a lot of units spread around the map so wherever you cluster bomb you will hit something. most likely it's harder to miss with those MLRS units I have seen that they were trying to break through this little vantage point here. Very dangerous to lose that position because it opens up a highway to your to your main starting sector. And I've started shelling the enemy position at their main starting sector trying to snipe the enemy artillery What the hell was that? A little Christmas tree over here or something? I don't know. That might be a bug. So I've 
concentrated my effort to block that little effort here to take this position by the enemy. Things were looking really bad because at this point we have lost Foxtrot and we have lost Golf. They had command units here, we had nothing. Lucampo was trying to stabilize his front, bringing the command unit here. Not much good it did him because with such overwhelming superiority in this flank, yeah, he left the game. At which point he left the game because he knew it is hopeless. So, right now I'm in control of his unit. I knew I couldn't possibly win the battle head to toe against his unit at the front because with such superior numbers and against two players it would be futile attempt I might hold him a bit but at the end I will fall back fail So my plan was to stall them, just stall them as best as I can for my special operation to succeed. It was the only chance I had left. Managed to take out two fighter, two fighters of the enemy. He kept pushing on the right flank, bringing his artillery to bear on my units here. The remnants of uh, Luke Emperor's units. And here we go. You might say this was the second catastrophe of the battle because uh, I've lost three seed planes and two bomber planes in an effort to clear the ground of anti-aircraft guns and to try to bomb the enemy's command unit which at this point I didn't know where it was located but one made it through that seed plane made it through so knowing that he has achieved penetration to this area and the knowledge that there are no anti-aircraft guns located in this area was just about anything I 
needed from this raid because about now I know I can push bombers into this sector and even helicopters into this sector my command unit was already standing still on this sector he could not call another wave of fighters so the next wave of bombers I will bring in it will do the, jam the damage wherever I point them at Yep, I lost that bomber and I lost that seed plane. The Anafa helicopters are coming to scout the area. My artillery is still firing at that position, trying to lucky snipe the enemy the enemy's CV. Recon helicopter is trying to locate my command unit and it's shot down. They have spotted my Shayetet and trying to annihilate it. And as I said, the heavy bombers are doing their job. Another helicopter goes down. He is trying. Look how lucky this command unit is. Because we're talking about very heavy artillery fire on their position, and there comes the Cobra attack helicopters. cleaning the sector and now the tide of battle has changed I can start calling in tanks and infantry Now I can start using my planes without interruption. My artillery just destroyed another command vehicle, a Foxtrot. And I'm taking plus three on them. At this point, there's absolutely nothing they can do to prevent the final defeat. You know, whenever I try this tactic and it succeeds, I'm like, have you ever seen Tombstone, the movie? When Dark Holiday is sitting to a poker table and whenever I succeed in this uh, tactic, I'm like,
It's, uh, it's cracking me up. Search and destroy for the last remaining command units. Now I'm taking, no, still plus, plus three because it's brought a command unit to go up. Now it's plus four, it's on the move. Two command units, the Alpha, I get this place fortified. His main, their main effort was uh, concentrated on taking back Delta. They couldn't hope to succeed because all I need to do is just bring in tanks or whatnot and take them out. Bombing the last known location of the special forces of the enemy. Not much good it did me, but who cares? I got like 70 Rubaid guys with Zeldas. It's half a chopper. Blazers are still, still doing their cleaning job on the left flank. And they were panicking, they were making fast moves, they were trying to get inside Del Delta. At which point I've brought in my most powerful asset, the Merkava Baz tank. Arguably the most strongest tank in the game. Boom. And even another one. major victory. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I owe my victory to Luke and Pro. He did a fine job. Those two, they played very, very well. They just underestimated my ability to uh, well, my sneaky shit <laughs> um, and I'll have more for you I've got uh, plenty more uh, replays where uh, a lot of uh, 
fun stuff happens. And good luck on the battlefield, commanders. Kara got sighted off. 